do here is I'm going to multiply out this 3x3 three by, three by this 3x3. Three three. It's going to easily fill the screen, um, and I may make a mistake. I've purposely chosen uh, all different numbers, so it's obvious where I get the number from, but obviously that's created big numbers, so forgive me uh, and be patient with me as I do this on my calculator really quickly. So if you know how to multiply 2 by 2, the method stays the same. Okay? We read from left to right in the left-hand matrix and top to bottom in the right-hand matrix. So let's start with my top left component. So I'm going to start with 1 times 10. And I'm going to write this out. So 1 times 10. Now I'm going to read across this line and down this line. So it's going to be 1 times 10 plus 2 times 13 plus 3 times 16. Now if you quickly type that in your calculator, I'm going to do that as well, and I've gone and got the answer 84. Okay, now you can see I'm not going to fit this all on the screen, so I'm going to rub these out in a little moment or two. But carrying on, so we now move down a line, so we're going to read across the left-hand matrix, but we're sticking with that first column, so we're going down this column. So I'm going to have 4 times 10 plus 5 times 13 plus 6 times 16. And you can see where I've got those numbers moving across. Typing that quickly into my calculator, I've got 201. And finally, the bottom of the first column. So we're going across the bottom, but we're still working on this first column. So you can see here I'm going to have 7 times 10 plus 8 times 13 plus 9 times 16 and I've got the answer 318. Now I'm going to rub these out so very quickly you might want to copy them down or pause the video but if you just let me make room for my next column. Okay hopefully you got those down. I'm just going to write them in again so it was 84, 201, and 318. So now we're moving on to the next column. So we're in the second column. Now if we start at the top, so we're going to read across the top, but we're going down the second column. So we're going to start with 1 times 11, plus 2 times 14, plus 3 times 17. Now, as I say, I apologise for the big numbers, but it's to make it obvious where these numbers come from. And so I got the answer 90 when I did that. I don't have that many unique colours on this thing. So now we're going to go the middle column, middle row. So we're going to cross the middle column, down the middle row. And you can see that I'm going to have 4 times 11, plus 5 times 14, plus 6 times 17. Quickly type that in your calculator. I got the answer 216. Finally, we're in the bottom, uh, bottom row, still in the middle column, so we're going to cross the bottom row and down the middle column. So you can see that's going to be 7 times 11 plus 8 times 14 plus 9 times 17. Quickly on your calculator, I got the answer 342. Now, I'm not going to do the final column. I want you to pause the video, just quickly let me rub these out, pause the video and work them out yourself and see if you get the same answers as me. As a word of warning, do check. I sometimes do make errors, so if you're the first person to watch this video, please can you let me know. But hopefully, I'm going to get it right because I'm going to be methodical just like you are. So, pause the video now. You've got three seconds till I show the answers. And there we go. So, do check your answers and make sure you got the same with me. But the important thing to remember, and this is true for all matrices, is that you are moving left to right on your left-hand matrix and top to bottom on your right-hand matrix. And always aligning, if you just look at the first one I did, I did it in orange, so when I moved across the top there and down, then I always had the overlap of the 1 and the 10 on those two lines. But effectively this expands up to 4 by 4s, 5 by 5s, and it doesn't have to, of course, be the same number of rows and columns. So do watch my other tutorials, and hopefully, hopefully, I've helped you a little bit.